Hi, my name is Kyle Barrett, and I'm applying to be an SAT slash ACT tutor with Kaplan. Um, I'm going to be looking at prompt two of uh, the SAT ACT problem set that I was given. Um, and so first, I'm going to explain why they test for um, the identifying sentence errors and what colleges are looking for the reason that they test that. Um, the reason that they test you know, your knowledge of sentence structure with identifying sentence errors is so that colleges can know that you have a basic understanding of grammar and syntax as well as the fact that you're, you'll be able to perform on an academic level in your writing because from day one in school you're going to have to write short responses on tests as well as a lot of academic essays and they want it to be up to an academic standard. They would really rather not retrain you in grammar so that your essays would be up to their standard. Um, Prompt two, uh, let's look at the actual question. Even though many people think of them as shabby and uncomfortable, a youth hostel can be an interesting and inexpensive place to stay while traveling. At first glance, the sentence seems totally fine. I mean, if a friend of mine said that to me, I wouldn't think twice about it. But, and that's, but that's where we fall into the trap of E, no error. Um, so before we commit to that, let's Look over the let, let's look over the answers letter by letter and see if we can find something that stands out. A. Even though many people think, even though that's a perfectly good way to start a sentence with a dependent clause, it you know it's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. A is not the answer. Many people think of them. Uh, B being them. Um, it's in the right case. It's the object of a preposition of them that works. So far, that seems fine. As shabby and uncomfortable, a youth hostel can be. Okay, we have subject verb agreement there. Youth hostel can be, no problem. And then an interesting and inexpensive place to say while traveling. We have parallel structure here, interesting and inexpensive, both adjectives, everything is fine there. Now, where we run into an issue is with pronoun agreement. Even though many people think of them, uh, as shabby and uncomfortable, a uh, youth hostel. We have a plural pronoun and we have a singular antecedent. So the answer would be B, them, because you can't have a singular antecedent and a plural pronoun. If the sentence were to have said, even though many people think of it, or if it had said youth hostels, then the pronouns would agree. But the way the sentence is, they don't, and B is the answer. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for looking over my, uh, I guess, video interview. Once again, my name is Kyle Barrett, and I look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you.